The following program is intended for mature audiences. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. in daily life. Perhaps you are a diligent supporter and promoter of pro-life legislation, only vote for pro-life candidates, avoid entertainment from musicians and actors who openly support Planned Parenthood. Regardless, you may unwittingly be cooperating in aborted fetal cell research by purchasing products that use aborted fetuses, either in the product itself or in its development. One might take Enbrel, Amgen, to relieve rheumatoid arthritis. Your husband was given Zoastavox, Merck, a shingles vaccine, at his annual physical. Your mother with diabetes and renal failure is prescribed Arancep, Amgen. Your grandfather is given the blood product Repro, Eli Lilly, during an angioplasty. The local school district requires that your grandchildren receive the MMII, the Merck measles mumps rubella vaccine. Your daughter and son use coffee creamers and eat soup with artificial flavor enhancers, Sonomics Fermentic, tested on artificial taste buds engineered from aborted fetal cells. Because of the vagary of FDA labeling, unless you are proficient at reading patents and pharmaceutical inserts you wouldn't know aborted fetal parts were there without someone to tell you. Products related to fetal material can be broken down into roughly three categories, artificial flavors, cosmetics, and medicines or vaccines. Number 1. Food and Drink To be clear, food and beverages do not contain any aborted fetal material, however, they may be tastier because of it. How is that you ask? The American biotech company Sonomics has developed chemical additives that can enhance flavor and smell. To do this, they had to produce an army of never tiring taste testers, that is, flavor receptors engineered from human embryonic kidney cells, HEC 293, fetal cell line popular in pharmaceutical research. These artificial taste buds can tell product developers which products the public will crave. The goal is to do a taste bud sleight of hand, creating low sugar and low sodium products that taste sweet or salty while actually using less sugar or sodium in the product. Does your Nestle coffee made pumpkin spice refrigerated creamer taste more like autumn? Does your Maggie bouillon taste just like chicken? Thanks Anomics. The laboratory created artificial enhancers do not have to be tested at length by the FDA because the Sonomics chemical flavor compounds are used in proportions less than one part per million and can be classified as artificial flavors. Category number two. Cosmetics. The fountain of youth is babies. Commercially, it's known as processed skin proteins (PSP), developed at the University of Lausanne in Lausanne, Switzerland, to heal burns and wounds by regenerating traumatized skin. The fetal skin cell line was taken from an electively aborted baby whose body was donated to the university. Neocutis, a San Francisco-based firm uses PSP in some of their anti-aging skin products. 
their website claims the trademark PSP harnesses the power of human growth factors, interleukins, and other cytokines, to help deliver state-of-the-art skin revitalization. Category number 3. Vaccines and Medicine. Vaccines that use fetus material. An adenovirus vaccine is a vaccine against adenovirus. Chickenpox vaccine. Ebola vaccines are a number of vaccines to prevent Ebola that are either approved or in development. Polio, short for poliomyelitis. Rabies vaccine is a vaccine used to prevent rabies. Zoster vaccines are two vaccines that have been shown to reduce the rates of herpes zoster, also known as shingles. One type, Sostavax, is essentially a larger than normal dose of the chickenpox vaccine, as both shingles and chickenpox are caused by the same virus, the varicella zoster virus, BZV. Sound Choice Pharmaceutical Institute, SCPI, website lists over 21 vaccines and medical products that contain aborted fetal cell lines. The Use of Fetal Tissue in Vaccine Development From Wikipedia The use of fetal tissue in vaccine development is the practice of researching, developing, and producing vaccines through the use of cultured human fetal cells. The vaccines themselves contain none of the original cells and only very slight traces of human DNA. Most vaccines currently available were developed using cell strains cultured from two fetuses aborted for other purposes in the 1960s. This has led some to oppose vaccination on religious or moral grounds. However, vaccine experts and manufacturers state that vaccines do not contain any of the original fetal tissue or cells, that the abortions occurred decades ago and replenishment with new tissue has not occurred. Also, producing a safe vaccine for many diseases requires the use of these cell strains. Are we to actually think that just because human remains of any minute size are irrelevant just because it is of days past? At what point do we make sacrifice? What does sacrifice mean? At merriamwebster.com we find that sacrifice means to offer as a sacrifice, to suffer loss of, give up, renounce, injure, or destroy especially for an ideal, belief, or end. Or to kill, an animal, as part of a scientific experiment. Just because it is not us doing the actual deed, or even that it is done by people in laboratories does not imply a sacrifice. We must understand that the evil behind these things are what it is meant by the scripture Ephesians 6.12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. People should not be afraid of their governments. Governments should be afraid of their people. I do not stand by in the presence of the human. We have an army of digital soldiers. Where we go one, we go all.